Let's look at some basic examples where we applied the limit properties that we, we wrote down in the last video uh, to some basic limit calculations. Okay? So in this case, we're given the limit values for two different functions, f and g, at x equals 2. Right? So it's important here that, that the limit is at the same point for both functions. If, we, if we're given the limit for f as x approaches 2 and the limit for g as x approaches, let's say, 5, um, that, that information isn't useful, at least it's not compatible, right? Uh, these limit properties are really only saying something about what happens at a given point, right? The limit of a sum is the sum of the limits as long as all those limits are taking place at the same point, okay? So the first one is just a straightforward application of the sum rule, which was property D in that limit video, right? So the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x plus g of x, well, it's the limit of f plus the limit of g, right? So if you like, just write down 2 plus 3, answer is 5, you're done. If you, if you really want to spell things out and make it clear what's going on, you might add this intermediate step. You might say, well, the limit of f plus g is the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x plus the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x, right? Now it's, it's crystal clear what you're doing, what's going on, what property you're applying. And now, of course, those are just two numbers, so we can say what those numbers are. They're 2, they're 3, and so the answer is 5. Okay. The next one is similar. Um, we'll, we'll do all the, the properties as they come, just to kind of make it clear what's going on, all right? Of course, once you get the hang of working with limits, you are going to skip some of these steps, and that's all right. But at least at first, you should probably put all those steps in just to make sure you have the hang of it, and, and you can kind of convince yourself that you know what's going on. Uh, the other reason why it's good to sometimes write out the steps is it helps remind you what those limit properties are, right? Uh, helps you keep track of those things. So the, again, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply the sum rule. So this is going to be the limit x going to 2 of 5f of x plus the limit x going to 2 of g of x squared. All right? Now, uh, in that... First one, we can now apply uh, the, if you like, think of it as a product rule, limit of 5 times the limit of f of x, or we can think of it as a constant rule, right? So the constant rule saying that if you have a constant, you can bring it out from the limit. So we can write that as 5 times the limit as x goes to 2 of f of x. The second one, again, you can think of that as a product rule if you want. g of x squared is g of x times g of x, so it should be the limit of g of x times the limit of g of x. Um, or you can think of it as the power rule. So the limit of g of x squared is the limit of g of x and then squared. Okay? So now that we've got everything down in terms of the limit of f and limit of g, put in the numbers. That first one is 2, the second one is 3, and we have our result. Okay, now, for this last one, p of x is given as this polynomial function. So we have the limit x going to 2, p of x is the limit x going to 2 of 3x squared minus 5x plus 7, okay? Now, here we've got three terms, but you can, you can sort of, you know, inductively apply the sum rule to, to three or more terms, right? Essentially using associativity of addition. You can work out that it doesn't matter how many terms you're adding, you can take the limit term by term, right? And it doesn't matter if it's adding or subtracting, right? So we can do this as the limit 
x goes to 2 of 3x squared minus the limit x goes to 2 of 5x plus the limit x goes to 2 of 7. Then we can bring the constants out. And okay, let's maybe we'll skip one step here. Bring the constant out front and then we have a power, right? So this is 3 times the limit x going to 2 of x squared minus 5 times the limit x going to 2 of x. And of course, the limit of a constant is just that constant. So finally, we know that the limit of x as x goes to 2 is just 2. So we have 3 times 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus 7. And one of the things that you'll notice is that this is simply p of 2. Uh, with a bit of work, you can, you can take the argument that we just used here to evaluate this particular polynomial at 2 and, and, and generalize this and say that for any polynomial function, right? So any function who's given just in terms of powers of x with real number coefficients out front for any polynomial, the limit of a polynomial is this just given by evaluating the polynomial at that point, right? So, so in general, it would be true. There's nothing special about 2 here. It would be true that the limit as x goes to c of p of x would be p of c, right? Because all that would change is in this last step, you would replace that 2 by some other number, and you would plug in the 2, OK? And in fact, there's nothing special about that polynomial. Replace this polynomial with any other polynomial, and you'd have that result as well, right? Uh, now, later on, we'll learn that the, one of the ways that you can state this is by saying that every polynomial function is continuous right, at every point. Um, any polynomial, if you want to do the limit of a polynomial, you just plug in the number, right? So it's fairly simple, right? We mentioned this very early on when we were introducing the, the concept of the limit that for a lot of familiar functions like polynomials, which we're, we're comfortable with, with, which we're familiar with, limits are done by simply plugging in the number, which makes you feel like maybe there's not all that much to this limit idea. All you do is plug in the number. We already have a name for that. That's just evaluating a function. But then we saw there are some examples where it's not so simple. You can't just evaluate the function. Right? You need to do a little bit more work to evaluate the limit. Uh, and we'll be looking at some more of those sorts of examples very soon.